Hello everyone, here is Ivan Amskara. Welcome back to yet another video on economics revision marathon. So here we are going to discuss all the one marks questions from microeconomics. So microeconomics na yella chapters kare kareli barwanta one mark questions are na in video dali na wise smart nikhe. So next video I'll be posting on macroeconomics one mark questions. Okay. So here first chapter introduction. Your one more question. First question they have asked: Why does the problem of choice arise? Secondly, what is market economy? Third, what do you mean by centrally planned economy? Give the meaning of microeconomics. What do you mean by positive economics? And what is normative economics? So here I am displaying the answers. So we shall see the answers one by one. So first, के लिए दारे ये problem of choice या कराई दाग देते हैं. So problem of choice arises due to scarcity of resources sampan moolagala korate idrinda problem of choice aikeya prashne untagutte annu second one they have asked what is market economy so we remember what is market economy there is already a video we have already studied it market economy and centrally planned economy so yenu market economy ant helidre it refers to an economy where all the economic activities are organized through the market so illi यार रोल द रोल इज ऑफ द प्राइवेट सेक्टर्स ओके सो प्राइवेट इंडिविजुअल्स आर प्लेइंग द बिगर रोल देन थर्ड वन दे हैव आस्ट व्हाट इज अ सेंट्रली प्लान्ड इकोनॉमी सो सेंट्रली प्लान्ड इकोनॉमी इज एन इकोनॉमी वेयर द गवर्नमेंट और द सेंट्रल अथॉरिटी प्लान्स द इंपॉर्टेंट एक्टिविटीज ऑफ द इकोनॉमी सो इकोनॉमी के संबंधपट्टಂತೆ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಡಿಸಿಷನ್ಸ್ ಗಳನ್ನ ತಗೊಳ್ಳುವವರು ಯಾರು ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಗವರ್ನಮೆಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಸ್ಟಡೀಸ್ ಹೌ ದ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಹೇಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ ಗಳು ವರ್ಕ್ ಆಗ್ತವೆ ಇಕನಾಮಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅದನ್ನ ತಿಳಿಸುವಂತದ್ದು ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾರ್ಮೇಟಿವ್ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸಿ ನಾರ್ಮೇಟಿವ್ ಇಕನಾಮಿಕ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಅ ಬ್ರಾಂಚ್ ಆಫ್ economics which studies the evaluation it studies the evaluation of the different mechanism and the judgment galanna normative economics kodutte so this much is about the one marks question from the first chapter moving on to the second chapter so second chapter we have theory of consumer its behavior please don't mind the spelling its behavior okay So first one, what is budget line? Tell us there. What do you mean by cardinal utility analysis? Third, give the meaning of marginal utility. What is utility? Expand MRS. What do you mean by indifference curve? What is demand? So now when you write the answers for one mark questions, one mark questions, कड़े के answer अन्ना बरी वाला या वो तू नेंट नल्ले पढ़े को you have to finish it within one sentence. उन दो sentence की नल्ली ಒಂದು ವಾಕ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ನೀವು ಉತ್ತರವನ್ನ ಬರೆದು ಮುಗಿಸಬೇಕು ಹೆಚ್ಚು ಟೈಮ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿಕ್ ಹೋಗ್ಬೇಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಒನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಅದರ್ವೈಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ರನ್ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ನೌ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದೇವ್ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಜೆಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಜೆಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಲೈನ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಬಂಡಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಬಂಡಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ದ ಎಂ ಎಂ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅವರ್ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಂ ಕುಡ್ ಬಿ ದ ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ budget line second one cardinal utility analysis ant helidre see it refers to an assumption of utility which assumes that the level of utility can be expressed in numbers so utility anna number alli measure maduvudakke now cardinal utility assumption anta karithe third one what is marginal utility so marginal utility ant helidre it is the change in the total utility it is the change in the total utility due to consumption of one additional unit of a commodity so when the additional unit anna consume madidaga adrinda baruvanta utility en irutte so adrindagi total utility eshtra mattige change agutte adanna heluvantadu marginal utility then there was what is utility so utility is nothing but it is a want satisfying capacity want satisfying capacity of a commodity then mrs full form so what is the full form of mrs this is the marginal rate of substitution marginal rate of substitution next one there was what is an indifference curve 
so a curve joining all the points representing bundles among which the consumer is indifferent is called as indifference curve so indifference curve alli yavde point anna na tagu nodidru kuda so how is your indifference curve going to be so indifference curve it will be in this shape alva so it is in a convex shape so here whatever points you take so ella point kalallu kuda the satisfaction which uh, the consumer is going to get is going to remain the same so where the consumer is indifferent okay that is called as indifference curve then what do we mean by demand demand beedi ganthe helidre yes so the quantity of a commodity that a consumer is willing to buy and not only willing to buy but he is also able to afford it and is able to afford given prices of goods and consumer taste and preferences that is called as demand so this much are the answers for second chapter yes. now third chapter production and cost so by the way all of these questions are from your question bank only so nimma question bank nalli yavdala questions idu avella vanna nanu include maadide So here, first question is, what do you mean by total product? Here, there are some average product. They have asked meaning of marginal product. Write the meaning of cost function of the firm. What is total fixed cost and what is average fixed cost? So let us look at the answer. So first one, what is total product? The relationship between the variable input and output, keeping all other inputs constant, is referred as referred to as total product. next what is average product average product is defined as the output per unit of variable input third one marginal product and helidre you no know, marginal product of an input is defined as the change in output per unit of change in the input when all other inputs are held constant then there was what is a cost function so cost function and helidre it is the mathematical formula used to chart how production expenses will change at different output levels so bere bere output levels galalli production expenses galu utpadana vichcha galu hege change aagutave anodana thoristhakke so a mathematical formula yena da adana cost function anta karithu then what is total fixed cost the cost that the firm incurs to employ the uh, don't write these write the fixed inputs okay the fixed inputs is called as total fixed cost next one what is average fixed cost average fixed cost is defined as the total fixed cost per unit of output so what will be the formula for afc afc is equal to tfc divided by q now coming to the fourth chapter that is the theory of firm under perfect competition so here they have asked to define marginal revenue second one to which side the supply curve shift due to technological progress third one write the formula to calculate average revenue what is normal profit give the meaning of super normal profit and what does market supply curve show now let us have a look at the answers so first one marginal revenue and here it so marginal revenue of the firm is defined as the increase in total revenue for a unit increase in the firm's output So when the last unit increase made, that is, firm in a total output only, how much change is there? Yes, to change is there. Well, then a marginal revenue is created. Then supply curve shift towards the right. So technological progress is there. Supply curve, yeah, what kind of shift is there? That is created. So it is shifts towards the right due to technological progress. Then they have asked the formula of average revenue. So the formula of average revenue is. Total revenue divided by quantity, or you can write TR divided by Q. It is always better to write the full forms. Bracket only because then you short forms are not very good. But uh, as far as possible, try to avoid the writing short form. Okay. So total revenue divided by quantity. Third one. What is normal profit? So normal profit and here it is the minimum level of profit that is needed. to keep the firm in the existing business is defined as normal profit then what is super normal profit the for, the profit that a firm earns over and above the normal profit so normal profit na above eshtu galike madutte ondu firm adanna super normal profit anta karite last one 
what does the market supply curve show the market supply curve shows the output levels that the firm in the market produced in aggregate corresponding to different values of market price so bere bere market price iruvaga ondu firm eshtanna produce maartide in aggregate so that is shown in the market supply curve all right now we move on to the next chapter chapter 5 market equilibrium So here they have asked define market equilibrium. Tell us that what is equilibrium price? Then when do we say that there is an excess demand in the market? What is price ceiling? So this we have seen in the master following also. What is price floor? This also we have seen in the master following. So these two are very important: price ceiling and price flow. Sixth one: through which legislation the government ensures that the wage rate of the laborers does not follow? below a particular level so answer first one market equilibrium so what is market equilibrium it is defined as a situation where the plans of all consumers and firms in the market match and the market clears so basically the meaning is where the market demand is equal to market supply a position and the now market equilibrium and the correct second when what is equilibrium price so price at which the equilibrium is reached that is called as equilibrium price which means the price where the market demand is equal to market supply that we call it as equilibrium price then when do we say that there is excess demand in the market yava the excess demand is and hence if the market demand exceeds the market supply market demand market supply anna uh, cross aadaga exceed aadaga we call it as there is excess demand in the market then what is price ceiling price ceiling is the upper limit government imposes the upper limit on the price of a good or a service that is called as price ceiling and therefore idkinta hechu you know how the price anna fix madu hagilla this is imposed by the government only that is price ceiling then what is price flow the government imposed lower limit on the price that may be charged for a particular good or service that is called price flow and the e price kinta kelage price anna fix madu hagilla charge madu hagilla adanna price floor anta karithevi then which legislation ensures that wage rate of the laborers does not fall below a particular level so laborers ge koduvanta wage enide vetana enide adu ondu limit anna kelage bilabardu so adik iruvanta namge act athava ondu legislation anta helidre that is the minimum wage okay it is through minimum wage legislation the government ensures that the wage rate of the laborers does not follow below a particular level all right so this is about the fifth chapter now moving on to the last one so last chapter of microeconomics we have non competitive markets so illi kelidare what is monopoly this also one important question i can say monopoly what is monopoly anta kelabodu then write the equation of demand function give the meaning of monopolistic competition give the meaning of oligopoly market and what is duopoly let us look at the answer so first one what is monopoly so monopoly refers to a market where there is one firm one firm or there is only one seller but there are many buyers so that is monopoly second one the equation for the demand function so this is your equation q is equal to a minus b third one there was what is monopolistic competition so market structure where the firm the number of firms is large there are large number of firms then there is a free entry and exit of firms free entry and exit and producer homogeneous products firms are producing homogeneous products homogeneous and that is the same type of products or similar products so such market structure anna yen anta karithevi we call them as monopolistic market or monopolistic competition then they have asked what is oligopoly so if a particular market commodity consists of a few sellers okay more than one sellers ittare so basically if there are a few sellers the market structure is called as oligopoly then what is duopoly see it is also a case of oligopoly a special case of oligopoly where there are exactly two sellers so where there are exactly two sellers we term it as what we call them as duopoly okay clear all right so yes that is it for today's video thank you so much for watching the video see you in the next video till then take care bye namaste